Elizabeth Adams. I own an independent paper crafting business showcasing products from Stampin' Up. I sell the products I used in this project and also a few items to make crafting more convenient. I'll have the free detailed directions for this project on my website and a card kit available for purchase that includes all of the cardstock, cut and scored, embellishments, and Stampin' Dimensionals. Order the stamps, ink, and essential tools from Stampin' Up and either order the cardstock and envelopes from Stampin' Up or the pre-cut card kit from me. You'll see where to find all of that at the end of this video, so don't worry about taking notes. It's time to put stamps, ink, and paper together. I'm using painted poppies and the Poppy Moments dies. I'm using Well Said for this card. It has greetings for just about any possible event that you can think of. But you could also use Peaceful Moments. My ink is Tuxedo Black Memento ink and Poppy Parade. Plus you'll need these supplies. This is what will come in the card kit. It has some sequins and some of that wonderful ribbon. A few dimensionals. A strip of Whisper White cardstock. A piece of basic black cardstock. And this is already cut out with this piece from Poppy Moments Dies. A piece of Poppy Parade cardstock. The Peaceful Poppies Designer Series Paper. A piece of Whisper White cardstock for inside. The card base is Poppy Parade 5.5 by 8.5, scored at 4 and a quarter, And a Whisper White envelope. And I will be shipping these in a piece of Whisper White cardstock. So don't toss this. This is Stampin' Up! cardstock that you can use for other projects. But I just wanted to give a little bit of extra stiffness to the packaging. And I'm going to stamp the inside of the card. I have my stamp and pierce mat underneath my paper. Um, this is a fairly large stamp and I just want to make sure I get a good image on it. And I can see I didn't get quite the image I wanted in the middle here. Let me try the other side. Much better. And I'm going to leave these black. Of course you can color these. We've got lots of ways to color the images. You can pick up a bit of ink from the stamp pad and use the Stampin' Blends to color. Or you can use the Stampin' Blends markers. And with this kind of design you can just scribble. You don't have to be careful. You can use the stamp and write markers, but I'm just going to leave it black and white. I'm going to go ahead and put some of the designer series paper, and both sides of this are really fabulous. And I'm going to put that on the front of the card. And I'm putting this on the inside of the card. My oopsie will not show. And I'm going to stamp time for our new adventure. And then I will not be poking any of these. You can use the die brush if you'd like. I kind of think it's kind of therapeutic. It's kind of like popping bubble wrap, so that just takes a second. Then I'm going to put adhesive around this. And put the Poppy Parade cardstock right behind it. I think that looks lovely. And we'll put the dimensionals on. And might as well put one in the middle. Why not? Oh, 
on this strip I want to stamp congratulations. And I'm going to tie a bow around the end here. And I will tell you that I am having a real hard time with static. Here in California we have, we're having very dry weather. And that means this ribbon and all the sequins are sticking to me. I just want to flag that end. And I'm just going to use regular adhesive of your choice. I'm using snail. And then I'm going to put some sequins down. I'm using my take your pick tool for the sequins. And I just want to give a little trim. And that's it. I'll have the directions for you on this. But I also want to tell you about a special deal. It's time for celebration and Stampin' Up! always has something really special for people who want to join during celebration. This year it's extra special. I think it's fabulous. I always think that joining Stampin' Up! is a great deal because you can get $125 worth of products for $99 and you get free shipping on that. So that's a great deal. You can get anything you want for $125. You just have to get as close as you can get or exactly $125 without going over. Let me show you a kit that I am suggesting to you. You can get the Painted Labels Dies and Painted Poppies Bundle and the Peaceful Moments and Poppy Moments Bundle. the Peaceful Poppies Elements, the Peaceful Poppies Sequins, and the Crinkled Ribbon. And that's all $125. But during celebration, there's more. Stampin' Up! will throw in this Designer Series Paper Pack, and it does include that paper that we just used today and a little mini trimmer and you can get any stamp set that you want. For instance, that expensive Well Said bundle. This is actually two boxes. I've crammed them into one. It has 51 stamps in this set and it's well worth it, but it is expensive. You can get all of this for $99 and then keep on saving 20% off of every order that you put in from now on and as long as you stay current. But if you decide not to do that, you can get the card kit that I showed you for one or six cards, but then you will have to order the Peaceful Poppies and the cardstock and the ribbon. And if you get the Peaceful Moments set, there's a congratulations in there too. Just click the link for my website and you'll find all the details. Here is the web address for this project where you'll find the free detailed directions and links for the products I used. Just click the links and you'll be taken to my online store at Stampin' Up! Under Shop, I have tips for online shopping, frequent shopping rewards, and products I offer to help you stay organized. I offer a cardstock sampler, taggers to help you identify those dies with lots of similar shapes, heavy duty bags to store 12x12 12 12 and 6x6 6 .6 paper, a replacement tip for the fine tip glue pen in case yours gets clogged, and a bow maker. Share my Evernote notebook of current products for a nominal contribution. It functions as a fully searchable catalog. Inspiration takes you to all my projects. If you're new to stamping, you might want to look at the basics. You'll find how to cut card bases and layers, what's special about Stampin' Up! stamps, and some of my favorite tools. Under Organization, you'll find catalog tabs, 
labels and case inserts, a practically free stamp pad storage solution, a basic toolkit, as well as a compact desktop toolbox, and lots of color charts. You can take a tour of my craft wall. More organization means more time for crafting. Come stamp with me here in Ventura County, California, or get the best deal of all and join my team of crafters. The team is called SIP Together, and it stands for Stamps, Ink, and Paper Together. The team is made of crafters who want to save money on the products they buy, share with a few friends, or grow a business like mine. Be sure to subscribe to my website and on YouTube. I'd love to hear your comments. Thank you for joining me. Talk to you soon. Bye. Thank you.